गुड इवनिंग हेलो ओके हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू गुड थैंक यू ऑल राइट ग्रेट सो यू कॉल बाय माय फाइव ए दैट्स नाइस यस आई एम आफ्टर यू नो दिस हॉट डेज दैट वी हैड बिफोर now the we- the weather is better right unluckily i mean is there were some problems with the frame right for some people right. okay. yeah but i guess you are all okay right thank god okay i see let me see who else is in this group so we have now sergio okay we have the trees okay good now a uh, Did you have any trouble with the uh, with the links or joining the this class or this group? No problem with the links. No. Did you did any Okay, hey Eric, how are you? Going to the class. How are you? Okay, good. I I there 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 are so people in the, in the WhatsApp chat writing uh, they had some some issues to, issues to to yeah, yeah. to connect to this Zoom meeting. Mhm. They they doesn't know the the oh, el inglés corporativo changed the the zoom meeting. Is that right? Oops, but in did you get a did you get a an email? Yeah, I think everybody received uh-huh. that email but but I think they they keep thinking it was the same. Keep, keep the, the uh, they, they had, yes, uh, we have to tell them. Let me see. Probably the other thing is that they ha- they also have to let me see. check your email. Just okay. Somebody sent it already. Okay, probably that's it. Uh, I, that might be the problem. Okay, good. How do you say how do you say committee? I made, I made a mistake. I made I made How do you say? I made, made I made I made, made. Sorry, sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I made the same mistake. Oh, okay, I, yes. I, yeah, probably the have just clicking on the on the new. Okay, good. But I guess that little by little they will they will get back, to, you know, to the place. Okay, good. Well, uh let me see A good shirt, teacher. Oh, a good shirt. That you use it. Oh yes, it. this is uh, because it's black and it's kind of uh, uh, warm for today. <laughs> yeah. oh, but you know, this is one of my favorite teams in Italy. Yeah, yeah. And I have like two or three. The other one is uh, the international too. You know, I love that one. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good. And hey, okay, everybody, how are you? Oh, Yesenia is here too. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? Fine, fine. Good. Great to see you again. So we have Cecilia. We have George. I see some new names. We have uh, Julio, Carla, Carla Gonzalez is here, and Jaime. Jaime Franco, I guess. And we have Jessica, Marvin here. Okay, good. Now we're going to get it started because Let's see. Okay guys look this is what we have now Wow now we are English media right Now three Okay good I'll show you <clears throat> Okay uh, I will just ask you a favor you know to mute your microphones if you're not participating so that we can we don't have the background noise and then the rest of the class can concentrate okay thank you Uh, now okay these are the topics that we're going to see in the section one basically this week you see for example we have the passive voice 
uh, we have uh, some pronunciation with the letter O. Uh, we also have a, uh, what, conversation to practice, a uh, passive without by, okay? And we have the reading section, which you see now from since uh, intermediate one or two, you are reading, we have more readings, right? Which is something right. that, that is good, you know, and that is good for, for learning vocabulary too and comprehension. Okay. So then, uh, for those who are well, I didn't see in the last course, uh, my name is Luis Avellan. Okay, so and then I will be your instructor for these four weeks. And well, whenever you have a question, then you can we can use the the chat if it is during the day, or you know you can ask me questions. You know what? While I am explaining something, or when we have some breaks, don't don't be afraid to ask, right? You know that you can ask questions anytime. There are no bad questions, all the questions are good. Because you know, we, we all learned. You know, like Eric, you know. <laughs> yes, you, you will, well, if you don't know Eric, if, then you will learn, you know, but Eric is a great help, you know, because he's always asking good questions. Oh, everybody, everybody, you know, everybody has questions and that's good because you know, whenever you have a doubt, probably somebody else also has the same uh, doubt and then and this helps right to to clarify some some issues okay this topic that we're going to see today is about the passive voice have you ever heard about it anybody who knows about the passive voice oh you know what it is about something related to that no Okay, then uh, let's see. In this class, let's say participants will be uh, will be first introduced to passive voice using by. Okay, uh, we we're gonna I'm gonna show you the video for you to to be introduced, and then after we're going to discuss the topic. Okay, now okay. just let now oh, let me check the the sound. Okay, here we go. Hi, welcome to another module. This time we'll study passive with by. Okay, can you hear? No problem? Any problem. Okay. All right, here we go. No problem. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. Okay. Um this is important to know about this topic, right? Not exact, well, uh, the structure, the grammar structure, we will learn and practice and uh, later, but look, we don't know who did the action, okay? For example, then we use it, okay? Uh, you say, for example, the car has been stolen, but we don't know who. There is no... Yeah person there is no person who performed the action okay no doer no person okay who did the action we don't know the fact is more important than the doer okay the fact is more important than the person who performed the action for example america was discovered in 1942 who is not important in this moment but the fact is that america was discovered in 1492. We will compare active with passive. So you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, Use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931.
passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrambled sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Okay, I will pause it. Now the idea is to put this sentence in the correct order. What would be the correct sentence? My sister wrote this book in 1920, sorry, uh, 2010. Okay. Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Okay, so then this is the sentence in active voice. Okay, this is what we have been studying before. Okay, this is the make say like the, the popular way that we know to use the simple past. And now, like she says, we're going to see another way to say the same thing. Now, when you say, my sister wrote this book in 2010, where is the emphasis? Wrote. Where is the emphasis? What do you uh, want to... The what do you want wrote. To huh? In the word, word wrote, sorry. Yeah, that's the action, but what are you trying to... You know, to, to enhance, to resaltar, to enhance. The year, the year that she wrote that book. My sister? Oh. The sister of the year. Uh -huh. uh, Those are the three points. My sister. Okay. You my, say, sister. my sister. My sister wrote this book mm. in 2010. Okay? My sister. You are emphasizing that. Pay attention to that and see the other example. Well, let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time I will give you 20 seconds. Okay. My sister, this book, by in 2010, written was. Okay, what is the sentence? This book was written this book by was. my sister. Okay, somebody said. This book, this book was, was written by my sister in 2010. Carla, right? Thank you. Yes. My sister uh -huh. was writing this book by, no, was write, writing this book by in 2010. Something like okay. that. Something like that. Good. But you say, for example, you have, remember that in a sentence, we always need a subject, right? To start. Yes, yes the sentence. In this case, it's this book. Okay. Well, uh, let's see the sentence here. I tell you what. Were you able to do it? I hope you did. This book was written by my sister. In okay. If you see, this book is the subject was written is the action by my sister in 2010. Okay, now, where is the emphasis? Remember, in the other one we say, my sister wrote this book in 2010. We say, my sister, very proud, right? And now, this book. This, uh-huh. This book. This it's book. like when you say, for example, okay, so, this is a notebook, it's not a book, okay? But you say, this book, okay, this book. Okay, uh, somebody, can you mute your microphone, please? I don't know who is interfering with the noise. Okay, thank you. Okay, then uh, uh, you can see, for example, say this, uh, my sister wrote this book in 2010. We made the emphasis on my sister. But now we change, it's the same idea, 
but emphasizing a little bit more here. This book was written by my sister in 2010. The only thing that changes is the emphasis, right? That we are making the book. And remember another thing. When we said, let me see if we can do this. I'll show you something. Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. The sentence uh, could be, uh, this book was uh, written uh, in 20, 2010 by my sister. No. This book was written? Was written in 20, 2010 by my sister? The, no. the only, yes, the only thing that sometimes, you, well, you will see later at the end of the unit that we can omit this part, right? So that's why you can say this book was written in 2010 only. And then mm -hmm. sometimes it's not necessary this. But this, this book was written by whom? It's better if you put here by and then after the time. Okay, in that order. It will sound mm -hmm. more, more organized. Okay. Uh, what was your sentence? My sister uh, uh, wrote, right? Mm -hmm. My wrote sister wrote this book. This book. This book in 2010, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So if you see, this is the Okay, so this is, this is the sentence that we, we saw previously in simple past active voice, and this is the one that we use now with the passive voice. Okay, here the emphasis was when we were talking about my sister. Okay, and now the emphasis here is this book. So, the subject, the subject of this sentence is now the object, okay? If you see, my sister is at the end, and this book is at the beginning. You swap, you switch, okay? The subject and the object, okay? And then after you use, okay, another thing. If you see, when you see the verb, what verb is it? Rot. Rod is past right. tense, okay? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm we, sorry. Yes? Hello, right. Uh, I, I uh -huh, don't understand. You? I don't understand this, this topic, but uh, basically is is only change the verb and add was or were. Exactly, right? For example, uh, you change the, the, always the verb to be. Always the verb to be. Okay, and it's very important, uh, Julio, now that you mentioned that, okay, that we use, for example, the, um, here, like this. Uh, for, look at this one, so, uh, it says, my sister, sorry, my sister writes. Okay, my sister writes, uh, Alexeira writes this, this books. Okay, this is in Active Voice, correct? Now, if I want to change this one, okay, this is past tense and then here I use was. All right, and if I want to change that one, my sister writes these books, what should I use? This, okay, okay, the, the object, okay, changes the books. beginning. These books, this book was, was, okay, was. These books. now, those books, wait, now if you see here, wrote, past tense. Was was this is past tense but this okay. is present this book this right present. then you're gonna was. use are okay. okay so depends on the time the tense this book are, are writing, writing. Written. Written. 
-huh. by my sister. By my sister. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay, so this is what you do, for example. You first see. First, you know, to change one of the sentences, the first thing you do is identify the subject, the object, and the tense. Okay? If it is past, the verb is in past tense, then you're going to use was or were. If it is present, then you're going to use is or are. This book is one. Then we use was, correct? Singular. And this books, plural. Okay? And that's why we use are. Okay? Questions in this moment? Many, many questions, right? But this is just introductory, okay? Now, let's continue. Sorry, let me. Now we have. No, I don't want more. Thank you. 2010. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which, by the way, is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book. It was my sister. This book was written by my sister. This book is the object, was, was or were. Written is the past participle of the verb. By, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember, we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number. Okay. Before we move. Okay, questions. Now is your, your time to ask. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Ask as many questions as possible and let's try to to solve this problem, okay? If you have any questions. Oops. No problem, everybody? No? No, no problem. No, okay. no problem. Okay, just remember, no just remember here that uh, active voice, my sister wrote this book, identify this, right? Subject, object. Okay, what is an object? Remember, the object is after the verb. And the subject is before, before the verb, okay? So then you have, what you have before the, the action is the subject. And when you have immediately after the verb is the subject, okay? These are direct objects. Okay, so we have subject, verb, and object. In the passive voice, you switch the object to the subject and the subject to the object. And then you use... In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, 
The emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susana who wrote the book. It was my sister. This book was written by my sister. And now if you see the object that we had in the other sentence is now the subject, right? And we say this book, then it says was or were. We use was because this is what? Singular. I think. Singular. Okay, singular. So that's why we use, if it says these books, then we use where. So here oh. the book was, only one book. And then the past participle of the verb. Remember you have take, took, taken. Write, wrote, written. Okay, the one that we are using is the third verb, right? The third verb, the past participle is this one. Okay, when you say, uh, for example, be was where been. Uh, you can say uh, uh, write, wrote, written. Mm -hmm. Sleep, slept, slept. Uh, what else? Take, took, taken. Uh, read, 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 read. Uh, sit, sat, sat. Okay, so we, we use the third column of the list of verbs. Okay? So this is the verb to be plus that verb. And then we use the doer. Remember the doer is the person who, who is making the action. The action, correct. All right. So then this book was written by my sister. Okay. This book is the object was, was or were. Written is the past participle of the verb by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember, we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Okay, we only say my house was broken into on Friday. My car was stolen, stolen on Friday. Uh, my, my, what, my, my, what else? Uh, we can say my, uh, this book, this book was written uh, last year, but we don't know who, okay? And then there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. Okay, there is no person. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay, and here, well, there are some examples that somebody has shared here. For example, said, mom prepared the food. Okay, so the food was prepared by mom. One easy way to practice is a paraphrasing, okay? For example, uh, who prepared dinner in your house? Uh, who prepared lunch uh, today, Julio, in your house? Who prepared the lunch? I prepared the lunch. Two? Okay. So then, and then you can say, for example, lunch by myself. was prepared by 
myself or by me. Okay. This is something you know that you can that you can use. Uh, Gio, who prepared breakfast this morning in your house? I did. You did? Okay, it would be the same, right? Breakfast was prepared by me this morning. Okay, so this is, you know, the way that you can use. So all the employees, okay, this is one thing about the verbs, okay? All the employees read the memo. So the memo was read by all the employees okay for example we can say um a, all the employees received the email the email was received by all the employees okay so you can use you know some verbs to adapt and to paraphrase okay to paraphrase the the structure and this is an uh Easy, an easy way to, to practice it, right? The boy ate the cake. The cake was eaten by? The boy. All right. So then, for example, you know, the, uh, you can say the, uh, the dog, oh, no, the cat. The cat ate the fish. Okay. The fish was eaten by the cat eaten by the cat or eaten by the cat, okay? You see, for example, uh, you can use the, the mouse, the mouse, the real mouse, right? Not from the computer. The, <laughs> the mouse, the, say the mouse, uh, no, no, the, I'm gonna use the other one, the cat ate the mouse. No, I'm, instead of uh, eat, I'm gonna use catch in past tense. What is the past tense of catch? Coach. Caught, right? Caught. Caught. Uh -huh. Then we say the cat caught the cat, uh, the mouse. The cat caught the mouse. Uh -huh. Then what would be the, the passive voice? The mouse was, was mm -hmm. caught by the cat. Okay, that's correct. The mouse was caught by the cat. Remember that some verbs are similar in past and past participle, right? For example, you say catch, caught, caught. And sometimes yeah, this might create a confusion, right? But remember that in the context, in the structure, we know that it's different, right? So for example, the cat caught the mouse or the mouse was caught by the cat. So it's the same uh, similar verb, but it's a different a conjugation, right? Good. So then it, here, here we have another one. The food was prepared by mom. The memo was read by all the employees. The cat, the cat was eaten by And mom prepared the food. The food. So we have all the employees read the memo. Okay. So this is, uh, let's say the introduction to, to the passive voice in past tense. Remember that the passive voice is not a tense, okay? It's not a tense like present, past, future, uh, present perfect, because the passive voice is another way to use all the verb tenses, because you can use the passive voice in present, in past, present progressive, past progressive, present perfect, future perfect, in all the tenses, right? It's just a different way to say it. Usually, usually it's more, uh, Let's say, uh, it's, let's say uh, they, they use it more for formal English, okay, to write reports. If you read, for example, if you look for, or if you do some research in the internet, you will find police reports in English. And then you will say, for example, you will see that it says, the suspects were caught near the, let's say near the building by the police, around uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, okay? Uh, both of them, both of them uh, were, uh, let's say, were taken to the police station, okay, because they were uh, walking in the street in a very suspicious way, okay? So then you see then you are reporting what happened, okay? Uh, 
uh, a teacher can probably say in a classroom, okay, uh, a, the, we can say that uh, a book was taken, as a, the teacher's book or the teacher's test were stolen from his desk. Okay, then in that case, if you see, there is no, no doer of the action, right? The, the teacher's test for the test were stolen from the teacher's desk, but we don't know who, okay? We don't know exactly what happened. Probably, probably a student did, probably the janitor, or probably the teacher lost them. He forgot the test at home, so many things can happen, right? So we don't know. It's a very general sentence. We okay. say the test were stolen from the teacher's desk. Now, if we know the person, then we say by, and then you say the name. Okay? Okay, okay. All right. So these are some examples just for you to have an idea, right? And then let's, uh, well, the other one I think is how this, well, here you have the knowledge check. And Katla, can you please read the instructions here? Hello. I think uh, you are mute. Activate your your mic. Okay. Instructions. Yes. Do you know who created these popular words? Match the phrases with the appropriate information. Okay, so this one's, I mean, it's a general culture too, right? For example, the kiss. I don't know what the kiss is. It's a group, I think. <laughs> and, well, the kiss was composed by George Bizet, was painted by Gustav Klim, was written by Jane Austen, was directed, there's a mistake here, by Steven Spielberg, who was recorded by the Beatles. Was painted by was Wait. Gustav Klein. Was painted? Yeah. yeah. By Gustav Klein. Okay. So then here we can see that the kid is a, a, a band. Paint. It's a paint, right? Not picture, but a paint. <laughs> Okay. There, is a, there is a difference, right? Uh, Picasso, for example, has paints, right? And pictures, you know, we make pictures with our self. Okay, so it was painted by the song yesterday. What would be the option? Was recorded by the Beatles. The Beatles. Was recorded by the Beatles. Was recorded by the Beatles. Okay, good. So then we have, if you see, we are using the past tense, okay? And we are using the past particle, the painted, recorded, regular Record. verb, regular verb. Okay. Then the film, Chandler's, uh, Chandler's List. Was directed by Steven, by Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. Was directed by directed. Steven Spielberg. Okay, this number three is extra, right? So it was directed three times, maybe. Okay. <laughs> the next one, the novel, Pride and Prejudice. Was written How do you say that? Prejudice. 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 Was written by Jane Austen. Jane Austen. Mm -hmm. Prejudice, right, teacher? Huh? Prejudice. Prejudice. No, prejudice. 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 Oh, prejudice. Okay. Prejudice. Yes. The opera Carmen was, was composed by George Bisset. Was composed. Okay, here you no, know, you can see different verbs, but also you can see the the proper verb according to the context, right? If it is a paint, it's painted. Uh, a song can be recorded or also can be written, right? So, um, for example, if, you, if I write the lyrics of a song, you can say, yes, it was written by, I don't know, John Lennon, maybe, or, or Ringo Starr, or probably Paul McCartney, one of the three. Okay, 
uh, the film Children's List was directed, okay, by. there is a uh, by this filmmaker, you know, that is the director who is Steven Spielberg. Uh, this one, obviously, a novel, it's written, in this case, in the past tense, it was written. And an opera, obviously, is composed. Now, let's see the answers. Okay, here we have, was painted by, okay, was recorded by, so was directed by, was written by, and was composed by George. Okay. So remember, this is the, the, the best, uh, now you can practice, for example, if you have a, a picture in your house, you can describe and say this picture or that. If you have a picture on the wall, far from you say that picture was taken by my grandfather. That picture was taken by a famous photographer. Okay, that picture was uh, taken by my little sister. Okay, remember that we use by when we want to give credits to a person, right? Suppose that I have a picture that you say, hey, look at that picture that you have on the wall. It's beautiful, it's perfect. Yes, and you know, there is something very special about that picture. What is it? That picture was taken by a blind man. Okay. Okay, you want to emphasize that, right? Because, because you know, it's something that you say that is really important that people know. How can, you know, a perfect picture be taken by a blind person? Well, you know, I don't know. Something happened, you know, but that picture was taken by a blind person. So this is how you can use it, right? With things that you have uh, around your house. For example, you can have, oh, you can have a paint in your house, probably, you know, and, and you can say, okay, you know, that paint that you see there was painted by my wife. Oh, really? Is she a painter? No, it's just her hobby, but no, she likes it. So that paint was painted by my wife, or was painted by my little daughter, or was painted by my, I don't know, the person that you want to give the credit to, okay? Uh, for example, the, if you have a, a broken TV that now is working, you can say, hey, you know, that that TV was broken for, was broken for five years. And then my, my brother-in-law came and he fixed it. So it was fixed by my brother-in-law. Okay, so you see, this is how you are giving credit or emphasizing something. So this is the way that you use in a practical way, the way possible. The right? pizza was made by myself. Exactly, right? This, uh -huh, because this pizza was made with all my effort, okay? And I earned all my fingers. I lost my fingerprints. <laughs> It was, it, was, I, it was made with all my love. <laughs> okay. I, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, there's another way to say that. For example, you say that picture was taken by my father, for example. There's another way to give credit to someone else? Yes, my father, you know, my, uh, the, the active form. You can use the active form. My father he, that you say, for example, my father took that picture, and I'm very proud of that. You know, I love that picture. Why? Because my father took it. Because my father, you know, uh, uh, let's say, uh, yes, because my father took it. That would be the other one, uh, the other, the active form to to give credit to. Changing the form. Well, changing. The form of the yes, I have changing the voice, correct, right? Active voice or passive, right? And I think Sing by is used by sorry, is is used for you know how do you say after before sorry to be polite? I don't know. 
Yes, it, it would sound uh, it would sound more uh, definitely it would sound more uh, what probably sophisticated, you know, in the way that you speak. Because if you are saying that uh, you know you know what uh, John, you know, that picture over there, you know, is my favorite, you know, because it was painted by my son. Okay, so then then this is a way to use it, you know, but you can also say, right? See that picture over there? You no, know, I like it very much because my my son painted. Okay, so then you can use both, but in the other one sounds you know like more like if there is more feeling, right? When you use the passive. Right. Because actually it's not the, the one that they most from Santa Elena. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if it is that <laughs> yeah, but I have heard people from other areas and they speak better than those, right? So <laughs> Yes, uh -huh, but it, let's say it's more sophisticated, right? More sophisticated. Okay, good. Question. So far, so confused. <laughs> let's see. Well, the other one, well, this, this topic is a little bit different because it has to do with uh, pronunciation. With the letter O. Okay, but now we're going to have a little practice. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Then any other Now we're gonna have some practice. And use it, right? Sentences, try to use the passive voice. Now think about sentences that you can, the things that you see around your house. For example, the, the house where you live. You think this house was built in, let me see, in 2000, Seven, maybe. Okay. This house was built in 2007 by a, by a, let's say, by a, by a company of people who construct, of engineers, right? I don't remember the name, right? But you can say this house was built in 2008 or it was built 12 years ago. Okay. Look around your house. Okay, for example, these curtains, these curtains were, uh, were uh, let's say, were brought to my house by my mother-in-law, right? I don't know, just look around your house or sentences that you can create using passive voice and simple tasks, simple tasks. May I say, um, thinking in my house, um, May I say, uh, this wall was painted by myself? This wall, if there is only one, yes, this wall was. If they were more than one, you say this wall were painted by myself. Where? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. The singular plural. Okay. Perfect, yes. No, this wall were painted yes. by myself. Good. In only one hour, okay? So I'm really fast. Yeah. Okay. Really small wall. <laughs> Okay, another sentence, another example. This dinner was prepared by my wife. Okay, delicious then. Thank you. Good. Good, good, and we're hungry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I, I, I have one. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good, running. Okay, Jonathan, go ahead. I have some problem. Bridgman is in the house. Yes. Sorry, Jonathan, go ahead. I will give a second to you, to Ronnie after you. Okay, Jonathan. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my house uh, was bought in 1994. Okay, exactly. Okay, listen to this, uh, this sentence. It's, it's interesting because Jonathan says, this house was bought in 1994. 1984. But, uh -huh, but he's not 
saying who bought it, okay? He only says, okay, what bought? Okay, probably by me, by my father, by Person. somebody, right? It, it's not important. And, and that depends, it depends on what information you want to share with people, okay? It's not an obligation to say who. Okay, this house was bought in 1994 by, uh, by my father. No, not necessary. If you don't want to give that information that is yours, you only say that. Okay? Good. Okay. 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 Uh, Ronnie and then Jaime Franco. Okay, Ronnie, how are you? Rick, uh, what was it, Eddie? The very Rick fine. is back. Okay, it's home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. In, I, I'm late to start yeah. the class because what somebody happened? sent a, a, a wrong zoom ID, ID. Oh, and okay. I and I entered to the other class with another teacher another classmate Me and I was scary because I maybe <laughs> I I, I, maybe I think that I I think that this a uh, advanced English Lawful. I guess uh -huh. oh yes no I think I think there was a problem because I was teaching another class before yes, this I, one I, I, before this one it was a uh, uh, le lower level and some people from the advanced level were in that class. So I think yes. that he messed up the, the ID links. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't meet not anybody okay. in this class. <laughs> but, I, but I I stay late Okay, no start the class by um, ID error zoom yes uh -huh. zoom <laughs> error yes no problem the it, good thing is that you're is back. that correct is that correct use it by uh, yes by uh -huh. by the by the incor by an incorrect zoom id mm -hmm. zoom id uh, by uh, okay not always has this to is be my, in this app. is my sentence <laughs> that's your sentence okay thank you i'm back i'm again. back i am home <laughs> yes, you're back home yes Great. I, okay, I feel happy that see ya the classmate. Yes. Okay, good. Hi, everybody. Hello. Good night. This is my sentence. Go ahead. This, this year will be very remembered. Okay, this is a, will be a, you are just in future, okay? But uh, yes. it, it's, it's okay, it's a good sentence and it's possible. Okay, if you see, for example, will be remembered, be? Okay. plus the past participle of the verb. And then you can see that you can also use this verb. I, I gave you one example in present. We have been practicing the past, and now Jaime, Jaime brings uh, an example in future. I will be remembered. Yes. All this year, actually this year, will be remembered for generations, right? You know, as, as a very special uh, moment in our life. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jaime. Okay, anybody else? Has me. Okay, who's, who's me? I, I cannot see your name. My name is Erika. Okay, Erika. Okay, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Everybody. Um, my example is the house is being painted by them. My house? Is being painted by them. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Erika. Okay, if you see now, Erika is given another example of a different tense, and this is progressive, okay? She says that the house is being painted, okay, in yes. this moment, right? By who? Them. By them, right? By somebody, right? So then the house is yeah. being, is being painted. So it's present progressive, okay? For example, is being, for example, this class, is being transmitted uh, via Facebook, okay? okay. This, uh, or streamed, okay? It's being streamed by, uh, say, via Facebook. You can, this is something that is happening in the moment. So as I told you before, you can use this uh, passive voice in many different, in, in all the tenses, right? No, there, there is no exception. The limit is your imagination, okay? Another one. Sky is the limit. Me. Yes. Okay, Carla, go ahead. Okay, this glass of wine was decorated by me. Wow. Excellent. And the wine is, is this good? But <laughs> <laughs> Later, later, <laughs> after the class. <laughs> wow. Oh, but it's empty. I thought it was, I, I thought it yes. was full. Okay. No, it's empty. 
I, I was happy to see that, you know, I haven't, <laughs> haven't seen a, a glass of wine in many years. No. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, it was decorated. Okay, it was decorated by me. Okay, so if you need uh, somebody to decorate your glasses, ask Carla. Okay, commercial. <laughs> okay, Jesse. That was a sentence, Jesse. You are too quiet today. I think. I think. Okay. Still thinking? Okay, think about it. And you're ready, let me know. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, I, w I got one. Okay. That kitchen table was made last year. Okay, good. The kitchen? Kitchen table. The kitchen table, uh huh. Was made last year. Was made last year, right? Yes, and then when you say, for example, the, <laughs> the wine was drunk by her. Okay, it was drunk. Then it's an example, it. of course. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> excellent. Good, good, good. Anybody else? I have a sentence. Go ahead, Beatrice. The red car, the red car was bought by my mother two years ago. Okay, the red car was bought by my mother two years ago. If you imagine that sentence, you can see probably there are two or three cars, right? Different colors. Okay, so Beatrice says the red car, the more specific, was bought by my mother two years ago. Okay, what else? Come on, come on, don't be shy, guys. For the, for the ones, I, for, for, uh -huh. yes? I, I have a very, very, very basic sentences because I need more practice. This no topic, worries, but nothing is basic. Go ahead. Okay, this TV was fixed, fixed my by my brother exactly okay, that's the red this okay. TV was fixed by my brother perfect that's the practice that we have this is okay another one you need to try yeah go ahead the the disaster was caused by storm amanda good you know this is a real one right the disaster all this disaster was caused by the storm amanda right yes yes yeah. Yeah, okay, don't don't mess with Amanda. Okay, Amanda is <laughs> angry. Okay, yeah. yes, that's true. Okay, had to be a woman, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I won't say. I won't, I won't. I won't give. I won't give you that my opinion in that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Uh huh. That's good. No, you know, for for those who who are, for example, I don't know if uh, there are some uh, somebody who's new in this group, Julio, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, and Carla? Yes, I'm yes. new too. You too. Erica too, right? Yeah. Yes, and who else? Beatriz Valencia. Who? Beatriz Valencia. Me? Oh, Beatriz, okay, Beatriz Valencia too. Uh, come on, you're saying you're not, you're not. Jaime and Franco. Then, <laughs> Jaime, Jaime Franco, okay. Yes, okay, then, uh, well, you, you, will, you will see, for example, you know, you will meet Little by little, Ronnie, okay? And <laughs> <laughs> pay attention to Ronnie, right? Because, you know, he's, and I promise. He's the man. He's the man the in the last class, cruise. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise the last cruise. <laughs> he's, he's always, you know, you know full of, of uh, hilarious ideas and in common. He's good. He's good for the class. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you, classmate. New classmate. Okay, good. <laughs> And from the ones who are the first time in this group, uh, is it your first time uh, learning or studying English online? Yes, for me, yes. it's the first time studying English uh, uh, online. Okay, and where do you study before, mm -hmm. Carla? Mm, I never study English in a, a formal way. Okay, it's so just, just by yourself? Yes. Okay, that's the, you call that self-talk. Self-taught person. Right huh? I don't know if uh, the word is okay, but empirically. Uh, no, it's self-taught. Self-taught. Uh -huh. self oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Self is, Can you uh, repeat it, please? Self-taught. Self self-taught. Self self how, how do you spell that Let me word, see. please? Self Can you spell for me, please? 
Can you see it in the chat? Oh, yeah. Salta. 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 Thought, like the past tense of teach. So, okay. thought that you teach, you teach yourself, self-thought, okay? Like the Mexicans. Uh-huh. Ya mismo. <laughs> exactly, okay. mismo. All right, good. Exactly. That's correct. And Erika, you said that you, this is the first time also that you study English online? Yes, in English online is my first. Okay. And what about the before? Where did you study? I um, studied in... English Corporativo, but, okay. but in but presence. In, but, uh, presence yes. Not, but yes, that's okay, good. Okay, good. And Julio? No, this is this is my first class in online. Okay. And it was a good uh, experience. Okay, good. Perfect. And where did you study English before, Julio? Academia Europea. Oh, okay, good. Excellent. But you have a lot of practice there too. Okay, good, good. Anybody else? Jessica? Hi, teacher. No, it's my first time online. Okay. I, I studied in English Corporativo, but in modalidad presencia. Yes, you know, when you were in the class modalidad Yes, okay, very good. Anybody else? Sister uh, Beatriz? Um, this is the first time that I studied online, but mm -hmm. I studied 10 years ago in a different way at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño. Okay. And, and I studied two or three English courses at UCA too. Ah, okay, good. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, well, there might be some others, you know, uh, well, you know, feel free in this class, you know, that there are some of uh, uh, participants that have been together for, I don't know how many, how many courses, right? And then that's why you see that sometimes they are very friendly and cheerful, you know, but that's, that's part of, the, of this group, right? So feel welcome and, you know, and nice and try to participate as much as you can, right? Remember that this is the idea here, right? To practice, this is the place where you can make mistakes, okay? Make mistakes yeah. here, because Thank if, you, if, if you make mistakes here, I can help you and tell you, okay, yes, this is correct, this is not, okay? But I cannot correct what you are thinking, right? Only what I hear. And then, uh, uh, so this is, this is the place where we can all make mistakes and learn. Okay, so feel free and confident. And I don't know if you have anything, oh, you sent me a, you prepare the sentence, you owe me a sentence. I won't be able to sleep if you don't tell me the sentence. <laughs> we don't fit yes, the I glass. Have, yes, I have the sentence. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Tell us. Uh, the dog, uh, the dog uh, was bite by my puppy. The dog was bitten. Bitten? Bitten. Huh? The dog was bitten by my puppy. My, my puppy, really? Okay, but your puppy is yeah. there. Okay, okay, so yeah. the, you have a very aggressive puppy. <laughs> yes, it's like, uh, I don't know. He, he, chihuahua. <laughs> yes, it's, a chihuahua? it's like yes. a chihuahua. Yeah, it's a small, oh, chihuahua. Our nervous. Yes, it's a small, but the personality is the uh, Doberman. <laughs> yes. yes, they think they think, they think the dog is. They think they're dogs, but but when they see themselves in the mirror, they they discover that they are not. <laughs> and the other dogs run when 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 he uh, lanza. No, when he, he jumps on top of them. When he jumps, jumps. Uh, the other dogs is the other dog is big. Uh, is the same. The other okay. dogs run. Uh, Yesenia, uh, is your dog? Male or female? It's a he or she? Uh, male. Okay. No, I'm asking you this because you know that uh, in English, remember that when we talk about animals, we use it, right? It. But this is for animals in the street. Oh, there it is, right? Well, good. Nice. 
Then and if you see, for example, but you can say he when it's a domestic animal, when it's your pet, okay? And you know the, the sex, right? Oh. The gender. So then you can say, for example, it is a male, you say he. They say my dog is very angry. He likes to eat. Then you can use he or she, okay? So it is correct to use it when it is a domestic animal. Okay, everyone. For example, uh, teacher, uh -huh. yes, I, I want to know the name. For example, what is his name? His his name. His name. Uh, what's his? his oh, by the way, Yesenia, what's his name? Papo. Papo. Now you, I thought you was going to say like something, something song or something like that. Papo. Ah, Papo. 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 But no, the soccer player. <laughs> How many dogs do you have, Yesenia? <laughs> How many? How many dogs? Do How you many have? dogs? Yeah. One. Just one. Uh -huh. Okay. One Only is one. enough. One is enough. And I have a total. It's enough. And my total, my total is five, she five. thinks it's a dog too. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. When I I call when I call her, I. And and she runs. <laughs> well, she's she, I mean yeah. she's she's well trained. She's well trained. Okay, people. Yeah. Then, thank you. So nice to see you okay. again. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, same time. Uh, same nice time. to see you. Nice to see you again. Okay. So stay safe and have a very good night. Okay. Have a good okay. night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody.